The sprawling expanse of Puente Grande, Mexico's most fortified prison, designed to contain the most notorious criminals, including the formidable Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. This facility, more akin to a military base, was the stage for one of history's most audacious escapes. In the heart of Jalisco, Puente Grande stood as a behemoth of security, encapsulating Mexico's iron fist approach to high-profile incarcerations. Designed in the late 20th century, this prison was intended as an unbreachable fortress, a direct response to the escalating violence and sophistication of drug cartels. Its conception was rooted in the government's desperation to exhibit control and assert power, aiming to deter the cartel's expanding influence. Las instituciones del Estado mexicano que en 15 meses lograron la detención de este criminal. However, the architectural might and strategic design of Puente Grande would soon face its ultimate test against the cunning of El Chapo. El Chapo the infamous leader of the Sinaloa cartel has been a thorn in the side of authorities long before his incarceration. His empire, built on the innovative use of tunnels for drug trafficking, flourished even as he was confined behind bars, thanks to a network of corruption that seemed impenetrable. Before his imprisonment, El Chapo had already carved a niche for himself as a drug lord with unparalleled logistical genius particularly noted for pioneering the use of tunnels for smuggling drugs into the United States. His capture in Guatemala in 1993 and the subsequent incarceration did little to dampen his influence. Inside Puente Grande, El Chapo effectively transformed his cell into a command center. Utilizing smuggled cell phones and leveraging the corrupted loyalty of prison staff, he continued to orchestrate massive drug shipments with the precision of a CEO running a multinational corporation, challenging the very notion of imprisonment. Imagine the audacity. El Chapo, living the life of luxury within the prison walls, his influence so extensive that he continued to direct his empire with impunity. It was a clear testament to his power that even the prison's deputy chief of security, Damaso Lopez, became not just a complicit officer, but a close ally. The collusion with Damaso Lopez, a man of significant influence within the prison's hierarchy, facilitated an almost royal lifestyle for El Chapo. This relationship underscored the endemic corruption plaguing the Mexican penal system, where loyalty could be bought and morality was often a casualty of greed. El Chapo's cell metamorphosized into a luxury suite, emblematic of his untouchable status and mocking the state's impotence. This period vividly illustrated the paradox of Puente Grande, where the most dangerous man in Mexico lived with comforts that belied his status as a prisoner. However, the prospect of extradition to the United States, where his reach would be significantly diminished, spurred El Chapo into action. His escape plan was as simple in concept as it was complex in execution. A laundry cart, a trusted worker named Chito, and a network of bribed guards would be the key to his freedom. The challenging political winds, particularly the looming threat of extradition to the United States, instilled a palpable sense of urgency in El Chapo. We, of course, have been closely following uh, the violence uh, in parts of uh, Mexico. Uh, Understanding that his empire and perhaps life would not survive the stringent U.S. penal system, he meticulously planned his escape. This planned simplicity was a testament to El Chapo's understanding of the prison's internal weaknesses, particularly its human elements. Leveraging his well-established network of corruption, he set the stage for a dramatic exit that would once again challenge the Mexican authorities' competency. But before we continue this video, if you find this video enjoyable and wish to see more like it, please subscribe to our channel. On the fateful day of January 19, 2001, El Chapo made his move. Concealed beneath dirty laundry and wheeled out of his cell, he exploited the reduced guard presence, meticulously orchestrated by Lopez, to vanish from Puente Grande, setting off a manhunt that would captivate the world. On this winter day, as the dawn broke over Puente Grande, El Chapo's plan was set into motion. 
The precision with which the escape was executed spoke volumes of the meticulous planning that had preceded it. The laundry cart, an innocuous part of prison life, became the vessel of liberty for El Chapo. This escape was not just a physical extraction from a fortified location, it was a masterclass in manipulation, showcasing El Chapo's ability to bend the prison's operations to his will through a combination of bribery and intimidation. El Chapo's freedom was not just a physical escape, but a symbolic victory over the Mexican authorities. He moved from safe house to safe house, each more fortress-like than the last, protected by a combination of loyal followers and corrupt officials. This period of liberty allowed him to expand his empire to unprecedented heights, even as the violence associated with his activities escalated alarmingly. El Chapo's escape reverberated across Mexico and beyond, symbolizing not just a failure of the prison system, but a glaring expose of the government's inability to contain the drug menace. The aftermath of his escape saw El Chapo ascending to mythical status as he maneuvered with impunity, shielded by a mix of popular support and fear. His movements between safe houses highlighted the complex network of alliances and the sheer influence he wielded across Mexico's socio-political landscape, challenging the state's sovereignty. But the law was never far behind. Following a tip from a technical assistant turned informant, Mexican and U.S. forces managed to corner El Chapo in 2014. Yet the drug lord's mastery of escape was undiminished. From the comfort of a safe house in Sinaloa, he slipped away through a tunnel beneath a bathtub, a move so audacious that it left the authorities scrambling in confusion. The collaborative efforts between Mexican and U.S. agencies in 2014 to recapture El Chapo underscored the intentional dimensions of his criminal enterprise. His escape through a tunnel from a safe house in Sinaloa was not just a physical evasion, but a symbolic act of defiance, demonstrating his resourcefulness and the loyalty of his followers. This escape would lead to an intensified manhunt, drawing resources from both nations and setting the stage for a confrontation that would once again test the limits of El Chapo's ingenuity and the authorities' resolve. El Chapo's subsequent recapture and escape from Altiplano Prison in 2015 via a meticulously planned and executed tunnel showcased not only his determination, but the deep-rooted corruption and inefficiency plaguing the system. His journey back to freedom, culminating in a ride on a motorcycle through an underground tunnel, was nothing short of cinematic. Altiplano Prison represented the epitome of security within the Mexican penal system, a facility designed to hold the most dangerous criminals without fail. El Chapo's transfer here was seen as an endgame, a conclusion to his reign of escapes. Yet, the escape in 2015, through a tunnel that rivaled engineering marvels, was a stark reminder of his influence extending far beyond the prison walls. This operation, involving the purchase of land, construction of a tunnel, and eventual breakout, was an unparalleled feat of coordination and determination. It showcased not just the capabilities of El Chapo's network, but also the deep-seated issues within the prison system's oversight and the audacity of those willing to bend the world to their will. The meticulous planning mirrored military operations, with the tunnel equipped with lighting, ventilation, and even a motorcycle rail system for rapid escape, illustrating the extent to which El Chapo would go to to maintain his freedom and power. The tale of El Chapo's escapes reads like a thriller novel, replete with betrayal, intrigue, and a relentless pursuit of freedom. It's a stark reminder of the challenges faced in combating organized crime, where loyalty can be bought and determination often trumps barriers. The saga of El Chapo's escapes reads not only as a testament to his own cunning, but also as a reflection of the fragile line between law enforcement and criminal enterprises in Mexico. Each escape was a chapter in a larger narrative of corruption, betrayal, and the complex dynamics of power within the drug trade. These episodes contributed to the mythos of El Chapo, portraying him not only as a criminal, but as a figure capable of outwitting the most secure institutions. Ultimately, El Chapo's extradition to the United States and subsequent incarceration in ADX Florence, the country's most secure prison, marked the end of an era. 
It's a poignant conclusion to the story of a man who, despite his criminality, became a legend in his own right. A figure who challenged the authorities at every turn and, for a time, seemed untouchable. El Chapo's extradition to the United States marked a significant turning point in the battle against international drug trafficking. It symbolized a shift in strategy, from containment within Mexico's troubled prison system to isolation in the high-security confines of ADX Florence. This move was a tacit acknowledgement of the limitations faced by Mexican authorities in containing individuals with vast resources and influence. El Chapo's arrival in the U.S. was not just the end of his physical freedom, but also a stark message to others in his position. Their reach would no longer protect them from the long arm of the law. This saga, with its complex characters, dramatic twists, and the underlying themes of power, corruption, and resilience, offers a fascinating glimpse into the world of international drug trafficking. It underscores the lengths to which individuals will go for freedom, control, and survival in the face of overwhelming odds. The tale of El Chapo Guzman provides a rare insight into the inner workings of global drug cartels and the enormous challenges faced by those tasked with dismantling them. His story is a dramatic reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, albeit in pursuit of a dark and destructive legacy. It highlights the lengths to which individuals will go for power, control, and survival, offering a cautionary tale of ambition unchecked by moral or legal constraints. In the end, El Chapo's narrative serves as a complex tapestry of criminal ingenuity, systematic failure, and the relentless pursuit of justice. His life, marked by episodes of daring escapes and eventual capture, underscores the ongoing struggle against organized crime. As he spends his days in solitary confinement, far from the empire he once commanded, El Chapo's story remains a poignant reminder of the cost of crime, not just to the individuals who perpetrate it, but to the societies that bear its consequences. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with more videos about prison escapes, please subscribe and make sure to like the video. Till next time.